Hello everyone, Model Deer Farmer back with you today. Today we're going to do a review on the Case IH 7150 Axial Flow Prestige Collection Combine by Ertl. I've been promising you guys that I was going to do a review on this combine for a really long time. I've had it since the end of August, really been wanting to get a review done on it, just haven't had the time, but here we go. We're going to get right into it today. Um, so yeah, Case IH 7150. Axial Flow Prestige Collection Combine. Uh, this one cost me $35 from the um, Case IH Combine plant. Um, other places that you're going to be getting them online or even your Case IH dealers, probably going to be anywhere between $40 to $50 is what I've been seeing for them around here. So let's get into it. It does come in the normal normal kind of prestige collection boxes where it's closed around on the one side and then you get the window on the front. So that's what kind of box this thing comes in. Um, so it is the prestige collection combine. It's got lots of nice features on it. Right here right now I have the 3408 um, corn head. So it's an 8 row 30 inch corn head. I really like that Ertl did an 8-row corn head. We don't get very many 8-row corn heads, so I'm really happy to see this combine get one. Since it is a little bit smaller of a model, it's a 7150, so it's a smaller combine. I like having that smaller corn head on it. So, as you can see by how we have it here, the feeder house does raise and lower. So that is a great, um, great bit of detail on this Prestige combine. If we take a look at the corn head quick, the auger in the middle does turn. Now, sometimes it turns better than others. Sometimes it gets caught on things, but it does turn. So it's not just stuck on there as part of the mold on on other corn heads and bean heads that have this auger in them. Another great detail is you got the you got black painted areas on the gathering chains here. So I like to see that detail. We got the orange flasher um, parts for the lights, for the flashers on there, on the front and the back. So that's good detail there. You got your Case IH logo on the side like you normally would. One thing though that I noticed, and I wish they would have put on this combine, other farm show versions of Case IH combines have the silver tips on the, on the snouts. That would have been pretty cool to see that on this on this corn head here but overall pretty happy with this eight row corn head um i really i really like having an eight row corn head it's nice to have a smaller corn head than always just getting 12 rows or 16 rows now as we move on to the auger head here it is a 2020 model uh it's a 35 foot auger head so it's got the auger in there it does spin around as well and also the reel does spin around, of course, as well. You got your cutter bar, cutter bar down there. Moving over to the sides, you have your flashers on each side. So that's pretty cool to see that they're not the most sturdy thing, but I mean, it's small. So, I mean, that's the best you can do for something like that. It is painted as well on the back. Looking at the side of it here, you got these really long extenders to i don't know what they're actually called crop dividers to separate the crop keep it inside the head when you're going along the edge very long they seem huge on this but i mean i guess maybe that's the way they are so you do have the white painted tip on each of those on each side so a nice 35 foot 35 foot head it does seem kind of weird that we got 20 foot corn head and a 35 foot grain head when normally we get 30 foot corn head and uh, flex head but I mean I guess it works so we'll move on to the combine here which is probably what you're wanting to see the most here very nice combine has a decent amount of weight to it still for being a prestige combine um because Pretty much the whole body here is die cast metal. So 
you're definitely getting a nice strong combine it's not just all plastic and it's gonna fall apart it is very well strengthened here so with the feeder house here you do have the great details of having the black hoses along the side and as well as the black on the hookup and you got your feeder house chain right there that's also painted black like I said before, the feeder house does go up and down because it's got those cylinders underneath it. So it is cool that it goes up and down just like it would in real life. Moving to the front tires, we do have duals on here. I think these are pretty close to being row crop duals. So you do have your row crop duals on there, which look really nice. Coming over here to the ladder, you do have the silver steps on the ladder, which is true to real life. So that's pretty cool to see that there. You got your flasher here on the side. With it painted on both sides you got all your arm railings handles along here and then moving up to the cab we have sticker lights on the top along with the case ih logo in the center we do have painted orange beacons as well as our lights on the front here which are painted silver and lights on the side i do believe and then we do also have our mirrors which are painted silver in the back as well now mine, I'm guessing the cab did not get completely glued on because this top part comes out, which then lets that come off and the door opens, door comes off. I'm pretty sure that's just a flaw on mine. So if you go ahead and buy one, it probably should. I think it would be put together, but mine was not, but this is a prestige collection combine so all it really does is sit on my shelf right now so it's not that big of a deal and also if you hear a whole bunch of wind please excuse it it's very windy this time of year and it's very windy and rainy today so but moving on do have a very detailed interior with separate color steering wheel which is also pretty cool that steering wheel is actually painted black along with some of the side controls on that side you do have the monitor up on the corner post of the cab which is sticking out there you have your red seats as well you also have your window to see back into the grain tank out of the back of the cab so that's pretty cool that you got that window in there moving up to the grain tank here it does seem like a rather small grain tank compared to some other case age combines i've had but i really do like the detail so you got the auger up here and it is actually standing alone. It's not like on those other Case IH combines where it just, it's the big black triangle thing right there. So I do like that that is actually freestanding, looks a lot better. You do have your GPS up here too, which is painted white. Like I was talking about earlier, you got the window that goes into your cab. You got your stairs back here your, and then the top stair with the black parts to help you not slip. And you also have a railing inside the grain tank. So that's pretty cool as well. You do also have this railing along the top back here as you're climbing up. And I knocked the top of the cab off again. So you do have that along with those grip, grippy things. You do have a beacon back here in the back. Your auger does swing out. It's a decent sized auger, which wor it works fine for both the heads that come with it. You got all the stuff for the exhaust system here, coming out to your exhaust back here. I do really like this feature. The ladder in the back does fold down. So that is a very, very cool feature uh, that you got there. You got your SMV sign, Case IH logo, your flashers back there. Moving to the back right now, we do have the spinners, um, I don't remember what the what crop that's for, but you do have those that actually spin back there. You got a hitch down here. We have turning rear tires, so the axle does turn back and forth, which is also pretty cool on this model, as not very many other combines made by Ertl have that feature. So I was talking about the auger earlier. So we'll move to the side of the combine now. So it does have the Case IH Axial Flow 7150 logo, as well as the X-Flow logo. 
You do have plenty of detail yet here on the side of the combine. You got all the hoses and different belts and things along the side. Moving over to the other side, you got the same decal. This part you can kind of tell, that part is plastic up there. You can definitely see it on camera, the difference in color. Um, you do have the black hubs on the tires, so that is also cool as well. You got your clean grain elevator and tailings elevator right there, along with some guards up here. If we look under the combine, I'll flip it around so the writing is the correct way. CNH, Industrial Licensed Product, Ertl. This is made in Vietnam. Uh, it's a very nice piece. It, you got a little bit of plastic here on the bottom, but a good amount of the rest of the combine is die-cast metal. So you can see your back turning axle there. You got some pretty wide rear tires in comparison to your front tires, but I think they look pretty good anyway. So there's definitely, there's a lot of cool stuff on this combine. It's a very nice combine. I like it. Um, it's probably my favorite Case IH combine that I have just because of the sheer detail on it. We do have these kind of, I almost kind of call these cookie cutter combines because it seems like every single combine made by Case IH looks like this, like this 9250 that I reviewed in a separate video. So if you want to go check that out, you can do that. But this kind of looks like the cookie cutter combine. And I say that because this is a 9250. I have the 2017 Farm Show toy that looks exactly the same. And also have a 9230 that looks exactly the same. And they've definitely been using this auger up here for a while and grain tank and everything because that looks a lot worse than what this does. This thing just has a lot more detail. This is something that you haven't really seen from Ertl before. It just always seems like Ertl makes about the same combine, like this 9250. So it is pretty cool to see us finally at something different. It's completely different body shape and style. And just, I think it's kind of cool to see something different than what I call the cookie cutter combine here because it looks pretty darn close to the same thing on all of them because I'll tell you here, I'll even go grab you another one that looks exactly like that. This one, the 175th anniversary combine, looks exactly the same, same exact body style and everything as what this 9250 does. Exactly the same. So I do like that we finally got something that looks a little bit different and is a lot cooler. So it does not have a folding auger like these other ones, but with this, with these smaller heads, you don't really need folding auger. But I really like this piece. It's a very nice piece, especially with the heads we get with it. Really like the eight row head. Um, if, if you want to pick one up, I would definitely recommend this Case IH 7150 combine. I really like it. It's my favorite Case IH combine that I have. It's just, it's a really, really nice looking combine with a lot of nice, a lot of nice features to it. So if you want one, go ahead and pick one up. Um, like I said, 40 to $50 is what you can pretty much find them for around places. I got mine from 35 for 35 so anywhere in that range, you can really probably pick one up for. But there's a lot of good detail to them. I definitely recommend it. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone, of this Case IH Axial Flow 7150 Prestige Collection Combine made by Ertl. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps out the videos and the channel to do better. And... You can also leave a comment down below if you have any questions about uh, the model or if you have any ideas of anything that we should review, um, anything we should review next on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. I got I got a pretty cool, pretty cool idea for the next video. It's something that you don't see very much of. Um, it's a new brand. We haven't 
We haven't reviewed anything of this brand yet. It's going to be pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.